What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with another top 10 video for you guys to round out 2022. This time, we're coming with the AEW action figures, the Jazzwares AEW and Rivaled lines. We're going to rank them today. Top 10 of 2022 is a great year for AEW. It was also kind of a down year, you know, given, you know, you, you know, it's kind of a roller coaster year, honestly, is the best way to describe it. Tons of great figures, some bad figures, some questionable figures, but I think the main thing that we got this year was going to be the Supreme line. And just a spoiler, man, the Supreme line is not going to be included today. I mean, how are you supposed to include? First of all, I can't do my own. The only way we would do a Supreme video is if we were going to rank the top five Supremes, and it would be every Supreme we've gotten so far. You had the Walmart Cody, the regular Cody, the Brit, the Kenny, and the Malachi. And these figures are clearly superior in the way they look and all their accessories, different things about these figures. They're simply better than the unrivaled and unmatched lines. And it would not be fair to include include these in the top 10 because they would easily fill out half the top 10 right or close to it so i just wanted to shout out the supreme line real quick before we get started because they are fantastic figures and with all the craziness surrounding the aew and jazzwares figures right now lots of speculation on if they're in hot water or not we're still going to celebrate them in this video and we're going to count down my personal top 10 aew action figures of 2022 and this is the runners up or plenty of figures here that did not quite make the cut lots of figures here i'm not going to run through all of them but there were some awesome figures i love the negative one figure i just felt like he was way too small they made him too small he he clearly could be bigger however like this is i just wish that he was bigger i just felt like he's tiny in comparison but he is it's a really cool two-pack love that Brody lee negative one two-pack bureau from unrivaled 10 Britt baker thunder rosa and jade were the three best women's figures this year but they did not make the top 10 i still think they're behind when comparing them to the men's figures even though they are great in their own way the supreme Britt baker was also amazing one thing that shocked me is we don't have a single darby allen in the top 10 man the ringside exclusive coffin drop and then the target exclusive barely missed the cut this year and i love darby allen figures some of my favorite wrestling figures that you can ever purchase similar to I like ray mysterio the small they're compact but they can pose around amazing they feel incredible in the hand so i wanted to shout those guys out you got andrade in here the two-pack young bucks from amazon are great the street gear adam page brian cage over here off screen was a pretty good figure as big as he is he can pose around fantastic he feels really good in the hand sean spears was a sleeper christian unrivaled eight jerry Jericho. Kip Sabian is a figure that is probably going to show for him, but it's still pretty damn good, and I think it represents the character well. Owen Hart, a ringside exclusive back here. Another ringside exclusive is the Kenny Omega right here, and both of these figures were fantastic. Finally getting an Owen Hart back was incredible, and I really like this figure. It just, you know, head sculpts were fantastic. It is Owen Hart, and I like the body mold and stuff they went with. It just didn't make the cut for other reasons. Then the exploding barbed wire death match, Kenny Omega with the blood. Just like Mox is a really unique figure, and I love the set, but he didn't make the cut either. There, but really great year of figures tons here that could have made the cut that did not but let's count down my top 10 i'll give you guys my reasoning and we'll praise these aew figures let me know what you think of my top 10 down below when it's all said and done All right, guys, coming in at number 10 is going to the AEW Unrivaled 11 Adam Cole figure. Like the figure, I, I love the way it poses around and everything like that. I don't think it's a bad head sculpt. I just feel like it wasn't high enough for me. You know, it's kind of a bland figure. It's not the most exciting over the top figure, but I do like it. I do like it. I like Adam Cole a lot in this figure. Did a lot of cool things. I just think it kind of misses the mark when it comes to Adam Cole fully. I do think that the elite versions of him are much better, but I do like the AEW version of it. It just wasn't good enough to move up on the list. But but I do like Adam Cole, and this is a solid release for him. I can't wait to see the future iterations we get of him in the line, if we continue to get this line, of course. But I think we will, and I think we're going to see more versions of Adam Cole in the future. Coming into the number nine spot, we have Brian Danielson from Unmatched Series number five. Great looking figure, of course. What docked it? I think if they got the formula correct on this or like perfect, you know, if the chest wasn't so massive, his height wasn't so massive, if his head wasn't so damn massive, he probably would have been in the top five. He's a really good figure. I love the skin tone. I love the gear. I think that they captured him great. He's just way too de dead gum big, man. He's way too big. Couldn't move him up the list, but this is a great Brian Danielson action figure. And I think it may be the best Daniel Brian action figure ever. I think it can stand up to all the Mattel versions. I just think Mattel captures his size better and uh, that just kind of docked it for me, man. If you're out of scale, really hurts it for me and that's what happened to this Brian Danielson. That's why I couldn't rank him any higher than number 9, but it's still damn good and I love the interchangeable head sculpts. This is a great figure. It's just too big. 
Now coming in at number 8, this one might shock some people. The ringside exclusive Ice Cream Bar First Dance CM Punk action figure. I love this figure a lot. I love the cloth shirt. I love the Street Gear figures. The Street Gear figures have really been the shining light, uh, the bright light of the AEW action figures so far from Jazzwares. His shirt's totally effed in the bag. Don't know what's up with that, but I think that his neck was a bit stumpy, like it sat too low on the torso, and they may have made it. Like his height compared to his other figure's height, the inconsistency there really bothered me so he couldn't go any higher there, but I love the tattoo detail. Love how well he poses around. Love the cloth shirt. Great accessories. Decent looking head sculpt, but this guy's a ton of fun to pose around. He's absolutely, you know, he's a blast to pose around with, so that, that really helps the ranking here, but he is my number eight figure of the year. Coming in at number 7 is going to be the AEW Unrivaled 9 Powerhouse Hobbs. A great unit of a figure. Massive guy. I, I love all the sculpts you're getting here with the boots, and I love the interchangeable head sculpts. The gear looks great. The sculpted tape, the tattoos. All of that, man, is a, is a great figure. I like posing this guy around. He feels really good in the hand. And I'm a Powerhouse Hobbs fan, so I, I like this figure a lot. He's, he's very entertaining to me to watch in the ring. So I went with Powerhouse Hobbs here. I thought that Unrivaled 9 is a pretty good wave, I think. And this guy was one of the standouts from it. So Powerhouse Hobbs Hobbs coming in at the number seven spot for me this year for 2022. Coming in at my number six spot is the AEW Unrivaled Walmart exclusive CM Punk figure in the trunks. We have CM Trunks here. He came with the cloth AEW hoodie, which is a great accessory. Even though it stains the figure, you'll notice, uh, you probably won't notice it, but on the Cobra tattoo, he does have the standing there, but this is a great release. I think this is the best CM Punk they released this year. You know, we had the Chase version. We had the regular Unmatched 4 in the long tights. We had the ringside exclusive. We have multiple punks coming soon. Will they come to fruition? We'll have to see. Maybe that's the big delay. I don't know, trying to fill up lines and figure out how to make those lines work without some of the talent and having to do a bunch of reissues or refixing there, but this figure's great. I like posing this guy around. I think that uh, yeah, his figures would continue to get better if we're going to get more, but we'll have to see about that, and you know, we'll have to, you know, cr of course, cross that bridge when we come to it, but this was a fun release. It was pretty cool to see this guy, you know, just hanging on the shelves at Walmart, and I thought it was a really nice nostalgia kick, you know, him returning, getting the figures. Uh, lots of potential, potentially wasted there but this is uh, you know we'll have to see but this CM Punk figure was a lot of fun he comes in at number six Coming in at number five is my man Wardlow in the white gear from Unrivaled 10. Now this figure, you can get it very cheap, you know. It, it is a very cheap figure, you know. It's kind of his pinnacle gimmick, you know. It's a very standoff figure. It's a repaint, so a lot of people aren't going to like this figure. You're probably shocked it's this high, but you take one of my favorite guys in AEW, you put him in some white gear, it's going to get a lot of bonus points for me, and I love this pose of this guy around. He feels really good in the hand. I like the I like the formula they use for Wardlow. He's a really fun figure, and again, you can get this guy just ridiculously cheap right now on ringside collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but this Wardlow's great. I have had a ton of fun posing him around and just getting some usage out of the figure, so if you guys want to, go over there and grab it, but this one is easily in my top five. Again, it is my top five, so there are going to be some personal reasons why these figures are ranked higher than others, but this Wardlow is a lot of fun. I like to look at it when it's just chilling up on the shelf. It, it's a great figure, so I went with number five here. I'm sure a lot of people out there don't even have this in their top ten, but for me, it is top five worthy. Coming in at number four is a great figure of a guy that I'm not even the biggest fan of, but when a figure is so good it encaptures the person perfectly, it's going to have to be ranked up there, man. You guys know how I feel about certain figures when they can just reach through the screen, grab the talent, pull them out, make them an action figure form, and then place them in our hands. This is what this Ricky Starks is, man. This Unrivaled 9 Ricky Starks, a fantastic figure and one that I enjoy a whole lot. It poses around great. Head sculpt is phenomenal. Great looking gear. It shines bright. He's got sick looking and boots on. He's got his chain. This is a very nice figure. Still trying to track down the chase version of him, but this is undoubtedly a great figure, and I think that this figure has to be in everybody's top 10, right? I mean, I just don't see how it couldn't be, but I'm not even a huge Ricky Starks guy, but damn, this figure is pretty damn fantastic. So, he had to come in at number 4 for me this year. Great looking figure, and I can't wait to see how they improve upon Ricky Starks moving forward. 
All right, man, coming in at number three. Now, this figure kind of is a bittersweet moment for a ton of different reasons, obviously. Rest in peace to the late, great Brody Lee. And this figure is fantastic. It was number one in my top 10 AEW action figures of 2022 so far when we were halfway through the year. I can't even believe this is a 2022 release. It feels like this figure came out years ago at how many times I've seen it at retail, how many times I've seen it around. This figure is everywhere, I feel like now, and I don't think it's like a shelf warmer per se it's just they i guess they made so many of them that they pop up everywhere it seems but it's a great figure from head to toe which is why it was number one but i've seen this figure so much and it's so much like the sdcc exclusive then you had the chase which is just a repaint as well and all these different things to a point where i wanted to lower this figure because i'm ready to see a new head sculpt and you know we also got the re-release version in the two pack with negative one but this figure is very very good which is why it came in at number three now can't doubt how good this figure is i think the formula is great head sculpts great all those different things i guess this year has just i don't know i don't know if this year flew by i guess it did but at the same time it feels like we've been stuck in 2022 forever at the same time i just i i, I find it so hard to believe that this figure was a 2022 release like that genuinely blows my mind and it's kind of scary but it's a great figure nonetheless i hope we get more Brody lees i just would like to see a new head sculpt if possible Coming in at the number two spot, we have the Unmatched Series 5 Kenny Omega. Great, great figure, man. Captures a moment in time. I love these promo gears that AEW and Jazzwares have been giving us. It's just such a fun figure. He's supposed to come with sunglasses as well, but they fell off somewhere, I guess. But, you know, if you don't like the yelling expression, you can easily pop on a new head. But if we're taking figures for what they are, the jeans are great. I love the dry brush detail on them. I like the holes in them. The shoes look great. Jacket looks fantastic. I just love this figure. It's fun to pose around. It's so... It's so such a fun and kind of quirky, different style figure, one that you don't typically see from action figure companies, but with all this articulation and detail, it is such a fun one in the hand, and it's great to pose around. I'll just pick them up and pose them around sometimes, and I just love the thigh cut, the calf cut, the double jointed knee, the shoes. It's just such a great figure, man. It really, really is, and it's very cheap on ringside collectibles right now, I do believe, as well, so maybe you want to go track that down. Tons of great deals right now for AEW figures, so this Kenny Omega is fantastic. He had to come in in my top three this year. He's number two. My number one spot is the AEW Unmatched Series 4 Cody Rhodes figure, man. I bet a lot of people are like, what the hell? How is this number one? But I have so much fun posing this figure around and just having fun with this figure. I think that the head sculpts, now the head sculpts are repeat head sculpts. We've seen these head sculpts before, but that doesn't take away from the fact that they were fantastic. And I also have the chase version here in the gray post with it. I happen to have two of the chase, so I have one men on card, and then I do have the version here loose. And I just love these figures, man. The ability to pose and pop and be able to, you know, interchange and put people in slacks with the loafer shoes and all that different stuff comes into play here. I just love the figure. It's very fun to pose around. Now, if he had been in a regular suit, it would have even put the figure over the top. But even if he is in the winter coat style suit, it still is so good. It's so good. And this figure, again, is very cheap on ringside collectibles. So you can go grab those. You can grab every single figure on this top 10, I think, on ringside collectibles using code MDTOYS. And I don't even think it would be that expensive because they are so cheap right now so definitely go get in on that i spent a few hundred the other day on ringside buying up figures over there so i just have so much fun posing this guy around and when a figure can make you that happy man i don't know how you can beat it you know and i know it's not wrestling gear you know it's it's, it's not those different things but as an action figure these figures are just so good they really really are i had to put cody at the number one i had so much fun with it this year and just posing it around and just just tons of fun with it that i had to put him at number one probably the biggest sleeper pick ever a lot of people probably would wouldn't have this in their top 10 maybe I don't know but it's so damn good I had to put it here and just being a fan of action figures is really what got this guy at number one because you know it's not like a moment in time it's not like something that I remember off the top of my dome where I'm just like oh yeah Cody in that suit really hits me in the nostalgia feels it's just no the figure itself is just so good that he had to come in at number one when you mix those things together that's really when you play with that uh with that number one ranking but none of those things really hit me in the feels this year this figure was my favorite figure of the year of course 
course, these are outside of the Supreme line, but these guys, uh, they did a great job this year in the unrivaled and unmatched lines. Not perfect by any means, but great strides in order to get better. And I just had a ton of fun, man, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your top 10, your top 5, your favorite figure from the year down below. Plenty of things coming soon on the channel, of course, surrounding these things and everything WWE and AEW action figure related. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one and leave me your top figure down in the comments section below. See you guys next time. You cross